Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance, episode 3 as a matter of fact, and we have collected all the things we need for Father. We've learned how to spar with Master Vanyak and met our beloved Bianca down at the tavern, and now we are going to turn everything over to Father. About those things you wanted. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I think I did. I have. Start forging. I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Where have you been with that ale? It's as flat and warm as horse piss. Go back and get me another, and you can pay for it yourself. Oh. That's the price of stupidity. Heavy sigh. Buy beer and don't let it get warm. Well, that's what I get for sword practice, I suppose. Um, I guess we'll just have to go back and speak to the lovely Bianca once more. We still have coin, right? 2.4. That should get us something. Okay. Gambler, huh? Uh, yeah. It just kind of went through my head. Boy, I could get more money that way, or I could lose it all. Let's try getting the ale first. Bianca! Henry! I'm so glad to see you. I came to get ale for father. I'm back. I can see that. What's the matter? I need another pitcher of ale. The last one wasn't cold enough for father. You want me to get it for you? Aye. And a smile from you. <laughs> um, and then I blacked out from the gorgeousness of Bianca's hey, smile. Thanks. Thank you, Bianca. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay, so we lost point two of our stuff, and I don't really. Greetings, have... Hey, look up! Ah, oh, watch where you're going. Um, Bianca, honey, I was standing still. I can't help it if you're trying to phase through me. That's a personal problem. Okay, so who's this one? Traitor. Oh yeah, that's right, the, the cloth. Let's take a look at the gambling, just for fun. Oh no, wait, then Father's Ale will get warm again, and we'll just end up doing this whole thing again. So, off we go. We'll gamble later. Okay, I hope your ale is cold enough, old man. About those things you wanted. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? I really hope so. I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Hey, fourth or fifth time's the charm, right. Pops. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sasal did for us. Look at that lad. That's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, I heard some gossip about what happened to Deutsch. I expect you know something about it. Maybe. Maybe? Someone threw dung at Deutsch's freshly lime-washed house, maybe. And maybe those cronies of yours had something to do with it. That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. 
got what he deserved. Oh, got what he deserved, did he? Look, I don't know if you're mixed up in this or if it's just those friends of yours. It's all the same to me. But I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. Do you understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. Oh, that depends on whether or not so I. So you think it's right to let traitors be killed of the king? Does that boy ever listen to a word I say? So Deutsch spouts rubbish. So what? You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth, not your fists. The furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. I do. You better hope so. Do it. And this is how Henry neutered himself. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Alrighty then. Um, that's not a file, Henry. Just Albert, so you why know. did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? It's still not a file, Henry. And we'll put it all together. It's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. Henry, are you all right? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, why? Just because I don't know what a file is? Back off, Teresa. Files look a lot like knives. They're just different. Okay, ah, uh, in we go. And, nope, it was there a second ago. Open nails for Teresa. Well, that's quite a uh, marigold decoction bandage. Sure, we'll take those. Take that, too. You know, just in case Teresa needs those. And, you know, it was in a box. 
bring the nails to Teresa. Oh, you get the feeling I'm going to get in trouble. What? Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Wait, dance what? Yeah, I had a feeling he was going to do that. Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. We did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? try it. Well, thank you, sir. No. You still have a lot to learn. Yes, sir. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work. Very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Isvan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Ooh. Don't trust him. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, Sir Isma. Have a safe journey to Sasa. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. Do you have to keep going on about it? <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. Um... The messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Well, that can't be good. That really, that is not good. That is really not good.
Well, I guess that's how we burn to death in jail. to the house and grab anything else important from the truck. Go to the castle. Hurry! What about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No! You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Redzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. Okay. Stop now, Henry. Quickly! We have to close the gates! Move! Come on, we're closing! Move them, people! Come on! We're running come out of time! On. Oh, Henry! Thank God! Get inside quick! We have to shut the gates! Get running, people! Come on! Mind this for me. Are you mad? You can't go back! You're gonna make this choice. Get into it now. Oh boy. Skullets. Inventory, we'll see all your equipment. Here you can also change your outfit. Run. Okay, yes, run. Don't mind. Oh, wow. Okay, you meant like run. Um, boy, I really wish I knew where I was going. I'll try this way. Whoa. Oh, boy. Okay. If I had my druthers, I wouldn't stand there and fight this guy. I would just run, so we're going to try that again. Oh. Okay, important safety tip. Don't take the time to read the text. Just run. 
If you want to maintain bladed weapons, you can save your repair kit and hone them yourself on a grinding wheel, which you can find somewhere. Okay, we're running this time. We are not waiting. Okay, now's the time to sprint, Henry. Okay, now we'll try and gain some stamina back. We'll cut cross country here. Sprint. And we'll let it get down to about half. And we'll kind of try and cool out. There's a horse. There's a few horses. Okay. Okay, horse riding. Uh, trot is the horse's basic pace. Walk gives your horse a chance to recover. Canter ideally combines a faster pace. Gallop is the fastest gait. Um, okay, that's all well and good. Okay. Uh, uh. Come on, horse. Hey, boys, I'm stealing your horses. They don't care. Well, I wonder if we can ride them down. Oh boy. There's a lot of them. Okay, time to go. Sorry, I would love to help whoever that was, but we are out of dodge. Okay, let's lay off. Well, it's probably not time to lay off the gallop. I guess we could change fresh horses, but... Go, Henry, go! Um, okay. Well, that's gonna leave a mark. At least it wasn't the knee. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. And bleeding the wound must be bandaged. You have to get to someone quickly who can help. Yeah, sure, that would be awesome, too. Oh, yeah. Those are arrows. That's another hit. Sometimes you have to get to a particular waypoint in a hurry. If Henry has already been in a certain place, something, something, words and stuff. Don't mind me, kids, just riding through. Did I, I think I took the wrong turn. I took the wrong turn. Left. How yep. gets to the left. Yep, oh. yep. I'm working on it, Henry. Be cool, dude. Yo. Oh, seriously, so, horse serpentine. And then you know, serpentine through the river. No, really, horse. This is not the time. Oh boy. Okay. Well, you know, we're gonna be riding horses for a while. In order to pick some, pickpocket someone successfully, you have to first sneak up on them successfully. Oh, goody! All the way back to here. In case I haven't learned to, you know, just run yet. Okay. We're gonna run and trot a little bit ourselves to try and recover stamina. You pigs! Don't touch me or I'll kill you! Okay, and... I'm stealing your horse again. Okay, horse, we're out of here. Yeah, whatever, dude. Okay, horse, way more serpentine this time. Except we're gonna get shot anyway, right? Ok, 
Okay, let's see how many premonitions we can achieve this time. Yeah. Okay. If you're going to hit me with a cutscene, make me bleed and stuff, at least have the courtesy to have the horse running again when you end the cutscene. Seriously. Okay. Yeah, that thing says something over there. I hope you guys can read it. Maybe one day I'll get to go back and read it too. Because I won't have people shooting at me. You know, game designers, every once in a while you could think just a little bit. Left. Talmor gets to the left. Yeah, Talmor yeah, thank you. Yeah. That's great. We're going to die long before we get there. Because there's really nothing else I can do. Whose plan was this? Seriously. And whose plan was this? You know, the whole... Yeah, you know what's a great idea? Let's have him run down the hill. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a guy chasing him. Gonna kill him. If they don't run fast enough. And then we'll put him on a horse. In which we're going to, in a canned cutscene, shoot them with an arrow and make them bleed. No, no, wait, I'm not done. Then we're going to put like 20 guys on his back with arrows and shoot him dead as often as we can before he ever figures out what he's supposed to do. It's going to be great. All right, we're going to try a different horse this time just because, you know, he's a little further out there and his things are... Insane. Maybe we'll help him with his insane bridles. Nope, we've just got insane bridles. We've got a horse. Good for us. Horse? We shall soon die together. It will be a bonding moment. I hope you shall feel both honored and privileged. You know what? What if we just don't do what we're supposed to do? No, here's our cutscene. Okay, well, oh, that's not good, horse. Why are you... St mm. This doesn't feel like a gallop to me. Just look where you want to go and confirm. You're telling me just to... Um... Yeah. Okay, confirm. How do I confirm? No, really. Yes, that's that's what I want to do. I want to ride to Telmberg. Great. Q. Quit full screen. Q full screen. I have no idea. But fortunately, we're in the bushes now. Because that's smooth. Ah. <sighs> You discovered a fast travel point. Left. Really? Did I? So what does that mean? Rovna. Left. We're going here now. Uh, X. X is our marker. Okay, well... Oh, hi. See, I just confused them by not going anywhere that I'm supposed to. That'll, that'll trick him. Let's get in the defilade there. Sort of, as much as we can. Come on, horse. Just go, man. Sure, ride in the water. It'll keep you cool. I don't know that we have any chance to 
<sighs> All right. It's end of episode time, so we're going to end the episode here, and we will pick up again next time. If I can, by any means necessary, get the horse past these kind gentlemen and their bows and arrows, I'll be sure to let you know. For the moment, I would like to say thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe, like, and a share if you so desire, and to ask you, above all, to please take care.